So today we're going to look at making fun stuff like this mm -hmm. uh, in the free streaming software OBS. Uh, we're going to look at making uh, absolute filthy, disgusting chaos uh -huh. that is, you know, gross to a point of uh, absolute, gross to a point of absolute uh, visual destruction. And then this is the part where I put the intro. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 howdy, howdy, hi. So I want to take a break from cloning the EMS Spectre on this sucker uh, to do something quicker and more fun. So I love video feedback and often I use real world analog gear to do that, like the V4, um, which that is a <clears throat> laser cut wood model. But, 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 not everyone has cool analog gear. And so something that I've been enjoying playing around with lately uh, is this effect. I will show how to uh, do this beautiful, horrible effect. So let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is feedback in OBS. So, whoop, here I am in OBS. I'll turn off my camera for a second. So, we're in OBS. This isn't a tutorial on how to use OBS. But what we can do in OBS, set up scenes over here, set up sources over here. So scenes are like things you can flick between. Here is the YouTube feedback thing I was showing before um, because I'm streaming my... Uh, there we go. Because I'm streaming my desktop to do this feedback, uh, you can see a lot of wacky stuff happening in the background until my face appears and I start to get more and more feedback loops. But so over here, I've made a new, I've clicked this to get a new scene. And then in here, ignore my microphone, that's just so you can hear me. Uh, click on the plus and go display capture. And then over here, I've captured my whole desktop. So, and capture cursor, because I want that too. So now, do do do, you can see we're capturing the cursor, sorry, we're capturing the screen, which is looking at our OBS window, this red box here, which is capturing our whole screen, which is looking at our OBS window. And if you watch my mouse here, you can kind of see there's a little delay. So I'm wiggling this mouse up and down, and you can see as the images go back, 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 back to infinity, there is a slight delay. Um, so this is video feedback. Uh -huh. uh, the next thing I've done is I've added a webcam. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I just grabbed the webcam that was facing me. And if we right click, we can go to filters. And so here I've cropped it to be square. So you click a plus here and I've used crop, be square. And then I've applied a luma key. So again, plus luma key. Uh, and so what this does <clears throat> is this lets me eliminate parts of the video, making them transparent. So with nothing, do do do, -do you can see everything in the scene. I've turned the lights off behind me so that it works kind of nicely. Uh -huh. I can also cap the maximum if I want to get something nice and freaky. Uh, smooth will kind of soften the edges here. But uh, I do like a bit of a harsh, sharp edge. So here we go. And we can see, as I move this around, we get some fun stuff rolling back to infinity. Do -do -do. Now, you'll see it gets a bit blurrier each time we go back. Yeah, that's not the most interesting effect in the world. So I'm going to right click on display capture, filters. <clears throat> and so we can put things here. Uh, and these things are now in the feedback loop. So let's have a little play here. I'm going to move the hue shift over. Yeah. So now we can see. Every time 
the image is repeated, going backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards into space, its hue is being offset. And by the smaller amount, you'll see I'm just getting slightly greener as I go back, 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 back. And the more you do, we're starting to get these like fun kind of rainbow things. So that's cool. Saturation. Brightness. So we can really just crank this to hell and get some really fun, wacky stuff here. So I'm now gonna grab my image here, move it around. It's not a huge number of effects you get, but you can do a fair bit just with them. So for example, Maybe, I'd, maybe that delay is not enough. 100 milliseconds, and there we go. So now we've got some rippling delay. Let's sharpen it a bit to get some kind of gritty, because I want it to like kind of grit up. Yeah, there we go. So it's getting pretty gritty as, it, as the image moves into the background. And then finally, I'm gonna do a little bit of color correction, gonna up the saturation slightly. Pull the hue shift just the tiniest bit. Up the contrast. Yeah. Down the gamma. Nice. This is me just using the built-in parts of OBS to do this. And then obviously, you know, as I move stuff around, that's probably quite sickening from where you are looking. Um, okay, so, beautiful. But, how do we end up with this absolute monstrosity? Where every time the image moves backwards in space, back, 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 what you will see is actually um, more and more YouTube compression, which is very fun. Because um, YouTube does some, like, gross, horrible kind of compression shit to video. From here, we've got display capture, but we could just as easily do browser. So I'm gonna make a browser. So now I'm capturing <clears throat> a browser source. You see it pop up here in the left-hand corner. Um, and that browser source can be anything. So this is what the streaming YouTube live page looks like. Great. I've got my stream key here. I'm going to copy it. Jump back to here. Get out of that. Settings. Over to stream. I'm going to stream to YouTube, which is what I'm doing. Uh, primary server. Use stream key. I'm not going to show you my stream key, obviously. Paste. So that was me pasting my stream key from YouTube. Do do do. Now when I hit start streaming, back here, if we wait a split second, <clears throat> we should see this light go green. Yep. And then a few seconds later, the video will pop up here. That will be whatever we see in our OBS screen. Here it comes. And then I right click on it, copy video URL. So now back in OBS, I can double click on, not that, I can double click on browser, URL, boop. Let's do this. Great. And it's brought up a browser showing our stream that is delayed. We've got a bunch of extra shit on the side here. That is boring. So I'm going to right click filters like we saw before, add filters, crop and pad. Great. So let's play around with this 100. Oh, no, 1000, not 1000. 100, 100, 100, and maybe 200. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, wait a second. Yep, to see it all disappear. Great. So, like I was saying, look, it's a bit of a head fuck trying to keep track 
uh, what is where. But this looks sufficiently like, um, looks like it's our thing. I'm going to put it here so that it's behind my video, uh, but in front of the screen capture. So now I roll this out. You can already see it's starting to get a bit crunchy. It's, that looks good. Let's grab my webcam, blow this up a bit. Ha 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 ha. So now we've got that super fun feedback happening. Um, and we can just continue to mess stuff up. So I'm going to add filters to the browser. Uh, we've got our crop and powder ready, but maybe we'd like a chroma key. So now this is going to cut out uh, blue. This is going to cut out video based on its similarity, in this case, to the color blue. And so I want to do this so that we'll be able to see yeah, so that we can see the screen capture behind through all of this. Yeah, there we go. Now we see it jumping through. Uh, smoothness, chop that down. Color spill, reducing color spill. Okay, so <laughs> now we are reaching a uh, pretty uh, wild, disgusting level of chaos that I'm quite a big fan of because it just has that ugly, like, gross, messed up, low quality uh, compression artifacting going on that we're getting from YouTube, but also from our own sort of display capture feedback. Um, so yeah, my advice is to have a play with this, see what fun, cool, weird shit you can do using either sort of just internal feedback by capturing your screen um, or something I like to do, the YouTube feedback. So I'm actually streaming to uh, an unlisted video just because, you know, it's chaotic crap and I don't really want people to be watching my chaotic crap if they don't have to. Uh, I'm just maybe going to go all out here. <laughs> yeah so pretty soon this is going to turn into absolute pandemonium which I'm a huge fan of uh, look at my great teeth yes gross to a point of absolute uh, visual destruction um, all in OBS which is free so you know stay tuned love life you know, live large and in charge. Till next time. See ya.